as you can see, pictures from Gaza in the Middle East. There, that has been uh, the most dramatic and clear place for us to see the shadow of the moon passing across the sun. It's on its way out now. OK, well, let's uh, take you to Sunderland. And uh, our reporter, Hannah Bayman, is there. A rather disappointed, uh, disappointing view of, from there this morning. Absolutely. Cloud spoiling the eclipse, eclipsing the eclipse, if you like. We were hoping that these solar eclipse glasses were going to be the uh, fashion accessory of this morning. As you say, it isn't safe to look directly at the eclipsing sun, but we really haven't had that problem here in Sunderland on the northeast coast. The cloud has spoiled the view somewhat. Of course, what we would have seen, what we could still see over the next 20 minutes or so, if there is a break in the cloud, is a chunk being taken out of the edge of the sun's disk as the moon glides in between between the Earth and the Sun. Now, eclipses, of course, have fascinated us here on Earth for generations, and I'm here with someone who came down to watch what was going on this morning. Paul from Sunderland Astronomical Society. Can you tell us what we were hoping to see? Yeah, well, exactly like you said, it would have been, the moon would have glided right in front of the, the disk of the Sun, so it would have been eclipsing the portion of it, possibly between 40 to 70 percent, depending on where you were in the UK. And this is a cosmic coincidence, really, isn't it, that allows this to happen? Can you tell us why it does? It is. The, uh, the sun is actually about 400 times bigger than the moon, but it's also about 400 times further away. So the, the disk of the moon actually does completely cover the full disk of the sun when there is a total eclipse. So how disappointing has this been for you this morning? Well, it is pretty disappointing. I mean, we were down here for about 6.30 this morning and, uh, and when it's still dark and uh, to not see anything, it's, it's a, bit, a bit of a letdown, but astronomers are kind of used to that now. So. OK, thanks very much, Paul. Now, if it's been cloudy where you are, if in June you fancy a trip to Siberia, there'll be another partial eclipse then, or we'll have to wait until May 2015 before we get another partial eclipse visible from the UK, or if you're waiting for another total eclipse of the sun from the UK, you'll have quite a long wait. 2090 is the next date for that. So from a cloudy Sunderland, back to you. Anna, there is no doctor on this earth who will be able to see that one, but thank you very much. Mm. 18 minutes past.